Camera phones continue to gain significant popularity across the globe, and even though the standards for what makes a camera-centric phone are still not defined, today we get to see another attempt at the market. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now here at MWC 2015 in Barcelona for a quick hands-on of the Lenovo Vive Shot. Lenovo is not only Motorola's parent company now, but also one of the largest smartphone manufacturers in the world, even though most of these remain in China. The company's Vive lineup may not be famous for many flagship devices, but with the sudden surge in great camera experiences on smartphones, Lenovo decided to take a piece of the pie with the Vive shot, even if through debatable means. See, the Lenovo Vive Shot is designed to vaguely resemble an old Leica camera in some ways with a double textured back and a brushed aluminum finish that actually looks quite elegant. You may debate the purpose of the device when you dig through the specs of the camera though, since this device sports a decent 16 megapixel shooter with a 16x9 BSI sensor that's optically stabilized. There's a dedicated camera key and even a dedicated switch to help you easily go from auto shooting modes to manual ones, an IR sensor for two times faster focusing speeds, and even a tricolor flash that we hadn't really seen before. It also sports an 8 megapixel fixed focus selfie camera at the front that took some very nice shots while we were here. Sadly, there are some things missing to make this a true camera phone, at least for some standards, like, for example, some sort of optical or digital zooming options like what we see with the Lumia 1020 or other competitors, and even a Xenon flash that we've also seen in certain Lumias. We'll definitely have to test this out during our review period to make sure we confirm what all the hype is about. That being said, there is a lot of positive here when it comes to the spec sheet. This device comes with three colors, black, white, and red, sports a 1.7 GHz octa-core 64-bit Snapdragon 615 processor, a 5-inch 1080p IPS display, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage that's expandable to 128 gigs through microSD, dual nano SIM options, a 2900 mAh battery in addition to other things that actually spell this as more of a flagship. Its software is also based on Android 5.0 Lollipop under Lenovo's proprietary Vibe skin that includes many vibrant colors and lots of minimalism throughout the UI, even though it can be a little cartoony for the taste of many. What's important here is that if you skip some of the bugs that we found during our quick hands-on, you will notice that it is very snappy and the UI is actually very practical, and even though, again, the icons do look weird, it does look like lollipop in most of the things that are important. It's hard for us to tell if we'll ever see this device reaching US shores, but you bet that we can't wait to get it for a review. While that happens, remember I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now here at MWC 2015 in Barcelona. Please follow us on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you with more coverage at MWC 2015.